Hi folks, Mike the Car Guy here, and I had an experience last week that I wanted to share with everyone because it brought up kind of a question that, uh, that I've been having a hard time trying to formulate and, and put into words, but I know my friends in automotive will, will kind of understand. I'm wondering if the words consumer experience have been thrown around so much recently in the last couple of years by third party vendors and people in automotive, it, whether it's a website provider or a, a texting company, even a DMS, whatever the, the, the concern is, has the term consumer experience just become kind of a marketing buzz phrase that really doesn't get the attention it deserves. And here's what I mean. Last week, I had the opportunity to, to stop into a dealership I wasn't familiar with that I didn't know anybody at because I had an engine light come on in my Jeep. Now, backing up for 35 years, I honestly can't tell you the last time I've had my vehicle repaired by someone that I didn't know and know quite well. Working at a dealership, I knew the, the service team quite well, good friends with them all. So when my vehicles needed service, I'd walk in in the morning, walk by the service drive. Hey, Joe. Here's the keys to my vehicle. When you guys get to it, can you uh, get an oil change? Um, I think a, a light came on. Whatever the, the, the situation was, I've really never had to rely on someone I didn't know, take their word for things, and, and try to establish any trust with them because I already had it. I already knew them, and I, I knew that the vehicle would be taken care of. There was a comfort level already established. Last week, I'm driving down the freeway, actually on my way to a dealership, Light comes on on the dash. I know where there's a Chrysler Dodge Jeep store. So I pull off, pull in. Guy walks up to the window. Hey, do you have an appointment this morning? Uh, no, I don't, man. I was just driving down the freeway. I apologize. I should have called ahead, but a light just came on. He goes, yeah, there's there's, there's no way we're going to be able to get it in and get it looked at. Uh, okay. Um, well, I, 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 I'll take it back home. I don't want to keep driving it like this. Can you let me know when you'd be able to, to get it looked at? And you guys are close enough to my house. I can bring it out. They're not my normal dealership that I work with, but I didn't want a chance driving the vehicle any farther than I had to. Another guy walks out. He goes, uh, you got a light on? He goes, let me look at the light. Step out. He gets in. He goes, you know what? Let me get my scanner. This may be something that, that we can at least um, get an idea of what's what's going on while you're here before I let you drive home and, and incur any kind of damage. I go, cool. That'd be awesome. I appreciate your help. Walks in gets the scanner, plugs it in. It was the EVAP code because I didn't tighten the gas cap. Shame on me. Felt like an idiot. Cleared the code. Should be no problem. Keep an eye on it, but that keeps you keeps you on the road and lets you go where you need to go. And I was feeling kind of stupid because here I am, this big time car guy, and I don't tighten my own gas cap and the light comes on and I freak out, right? So I said, well, while I'm here, the, the truck needs an oil change. It keeps telling me every time I start the car that it needs an oil change. He goes, man, I, I can't help you. He goes, my nearest appointment is probably going to be a week out. Uh, and even when you come in for an appointment, it's a two to three hour wait. And I go, wow, okay. So, well, thanks for letting me know. So I leave, uh, stop to grab a cup of coffee at a Starbucks, open my laptop, and I search the three closest Jeep dealers to me and their online appointments are all saying the same thing week to a week and a half out for an appointment just for an oil change so as much as i didn't want to because i'm, I'm kind of loyal to dealerships my business is dealerships i work with dealerships try to help dealerships at every chance i get i drove it out to a valvoline quick service that i've been to a couple times pulled in pulled on the rack and literally in less than 30 minutes all the fluids were checked, everything was, was verified, air pressure on the tires, lube oil and filter, everything was done, they checked my air cleaner. It's, it's a phenomenal service. The reason I'm bringing that up is most people in the car business are probably like me. They haven't had to go through the experience of dealing with a dealership that they don't know, that they haven't been to, that they don't know anyone at. If you work at a dealership, you're probably familiar with the the service team or if you're in service you know if you're like at a domestic and you're a tune-up tech you know the trans guy so if your transmission is giving you problems you just have steve over in transmissions take a look at it you're not having to go out and go through the uncomfortable feeling of going to a service drive and dealing with people that you don't know you don't know if you can trust them you don't know what to expect and just a basic thing like an oil change what I'm saying, if you're if you're truly concerned about the consumer experience, go on to your own website. If you're a GM watching this by any chance, if you're a sales manager, 
you're kind of thinking, how does this have to do anything to me? Your customers are trying to get serviced at your dealership. And I know things are busy. Service departments are telling me left and right that COVID has been a boom for them, that they're making more money than they've ever made before. Records are being set everywhere. But in that process, are we forgetting the consumer experience? Has it just become something that we talk about at conventions and trade shows and we throw around online, but it's really getting kind of lost by the wayside because we don't have to take care of customers right now. They're coming in in droves. We're overwhelmed with appointments. Jump online to your own dealership's website and try to create an appointment for yourself. First, see how easy the process is. How much effort does it take just to get to an appointment? Some systems are great. Some are atrocious. Some are frustrating for me and I'm in the business and, and I work with software and, and I'm online all the time and it's still difficult to figure out how to work through this system just to get an appointment. Try calling into your store. Try try going through the process blind like you, you've never done it before. Just take a step back and look at it and say, are you really looking at the consumer experience or are you just taking somebody else's word that this is the latest product that consumer experience is going to increase? This is going to get increase your customer satisfaction tenfold and you need to pay us for this because customer experience, consumer experience, consumer experience, consumer experience. If it's just a word that we've thrown around so much now that it becomes blasé, then we really need to readdress it. Customer experience or the, the customer consumer experience isn't something that is going to diminish as inventory increases as the supply chain eases up and things become more readily available and inventory all of a sudden across town is better than yours and you're fighting for that customer's attention we're all going to go back and reevaluate the consumer experience so why not do it now why not be ahead of the game there's going to be a time when appointments are are hard to come by when things open up and everything's rocking and everybody's doing their thing and you're going to be scrambling to get customers into the service drive, then isn't the time to try to figure out how to make your consumer experience better. Now is. Now we really, really need to focus on making sure that we haven't forgotten the consumer experience. Just wanted to share my experience and hopefully it helps you uh, increase your experience at your dealership and I uh, wish you all the best. Have a great day. I'm Mike the Car Guy. I'll talk to you again soon.